Hello and welcome back to the cove with more Battletech. We are in the mech bay and fixing up a few things while we're here. So, since we have pulled out our Marauder, we were hoping to see if this was one of those bugged out mechs or not. Turns out it wasn't, it's the same as our other two are. But given the fact that we've gone so far as to actually uh, pull it into our roster, we may as well tweak it and see about taking it on a mission or two. So to give us a little bit of a difference between our Gauss rifle and things, we're going to stick a little bit closer to the original 2R here. So we've gone ahead and upgraded the AC-5 to a Ultra Auto Cannon, and it also has some rather nice benefits, of less recoil and weight. Quite nice there. And then instead of these ERPPC lasers, I've thrown on an ER large laser. Unfortunately, we don't have any more of those, so we'll just go with the one for now. And uh, then a couple of large lasers for that long distance sniping. And then an ER medium laser and an exchanger, just for good measure. So realistically, we're going to be able to get a good deal of damage at some good distances, as well as some nice bonuses for the weapons for their accuracy. So let's go ahead and confirm that for now. That should be fine. And then I believe we have a couple of right. other mechs that we can give it. a slight tweak to. So one of the things we're going to give is uh, the Stalker, an LRM-15. We did pick up one of those, so we should make sure that our LRM missile boat is as efficient as possible. So let's quickly scroll on over there and we'll throw that on in. Let's get rid of... That should suffice. There we go. Uh, we'll throw that on in there. That will be a nice little upgrade. Extra stability damage will always be nice. Uh, we'll confirm that. And then from here... Uh, the Long Tom. So we picked this up in the last episode. Done. And I think I have an idea with what we're going to do. So we don't really bring out this Atlas much. But we do use it for its ECM and all. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to refit this and see what it's like. Now, we, good thing is we've reached a spot in the uh, campaign that we're not really worried about doing things as super efficiently these days. So uh, we're going to go ahead and have a bit of fun. So first of all, let's run over to our equipment and we're going to see where it was. It was... Uh, heat bank, double heat sink, and uh, no, oh, there it is, a mortar, sorry, that's what it is, not a long tom, wrong, or at least I don't think it is, uh, let's go ahead and throw that in there, so that does put us a little bit overweight, but I think we can make a, uh, fairly viable solution, uh, did we stick with, what did we do, I think what I did here was... Do we drop this down to a USC 10? I'm trying to remember what I had planned before, and uh, now all of a sudden my memory is failing. I'm fairly sure we dropped off a pulse laser, because that's a little close, and I think we also went ahead and... I think maybe the large pulse as well. Yeah, that brings us slightly under tonnage. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a nice long distance uh, thing or two, and I think what we could do is... Uh, what was it? Did we get rid of... Oh man, I'm trying to remember. I should have really written this down, but I guess that that's my fault. Let's go... The ER medium laser probably makes a little bit of sense. Uh, let's see, how are we doing for heat-wise? Only a total of 17? I think that's good enough. Realistically, we've got good SRMs for the close range. We also have that Ultra Auto Cannon 20. We're just more or less trying to play around with the mortar, so... We may be reducing our average range but it should be a bit of fun and we're also now more heat efficient so you know all things and all i think that is worth it so let's go ahead and confirm that uh, that should be fine and then Log and no. i'm pretty sure that should probably be it oh that's right we were going to go ahead and fix up this battle master um you know what, at the moment I can't actively think as to uh, what I want to do here. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, quickly do that on the fly. We can we can make something work. So, with the Battlemaster, let's go... 
go for something a little bit different. Let's drop off these medium lasers. That's not really uh, what we need. Go ahead and max out all of that frontal armor. After all, big fellows, once they start getting shot at, get focused on. So we need to make sure they have that survivability. Go ahead and make sure that the arms don't fall off. And then let's make sure that we don't lose a leg. Okay, so we've got a couple of uh, kilos left. Let's go ahead and we'll do a couple. There we go. That will do nicely. Give it a nice little bit of an improvement there. Uh, should we keep the ERPPCs? Well, I don't think we've really played around much with them. And I don't... just don't see them being of massive use. Yeah, 60 damage for 45 heat. That doesn't feel like a very good exchange. Sure, we can shoot at an incredibly long distance, but it just doesn't quite feel that, uh, feel that wonderful. But you know what? Never tried one out, so we might as well switch it out for a better one. Let's go for less tonnage and more damage. So at least if we're going to be paying for it in heat, we will actually make some benefits. Not to mention we could probably throw on an exchanger or a heat sink with some of that weight reduction. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll keep one of them. And then, let's see. Well, we have a second one, so I suppose we may as well go ahead and chuck them on in. And then from here, let's see. Do we want to keep the large pulse laser? Uh, heat efficiency is fairly decent. What would an exchanger do? Let's go ahead and see about one of those. Let's go... Uh, let's see, how many tons have we got? We've got two tons. Let's check on a standard exchanger for 10%. That brings us up to a very cool six, to, uh, uh, six heat at the end of a turn. Let's drop off the... We have a large pulse there. Is there an upgrade for that too? We should see. Uh, large pulse. Less tonnage and more damage. You know what? That will do nicely. Let's throw you on here. And then let's go... What do we want to do? I think we'll drop off those heat sinks off the side. We can mitigate a fair amount. 18 heat. Sure. And then let's see. We do have some missiles, some uh, support weapon, and then more energy hard points. All right. Well, then let's go. What do we want? Well, we could go for a tag. That could be an idea. Yeah, specialized piece of equipment that paints a target for better impact efficiency from direct fire weapons. And how long does that last? I think it lasts a round. Hmm. All right, well, you know what? Well, oh, that thing only weighs a ton. We may as well uh, see about that. And then we still have two more tons left. So let's throw on... You know what? Maybe we pull off the large pulse. That weighs a fair, fair chunk of uh, weight. We could swap that out for a couple of uh, closer range weapons. Yeah, you know what? That's probably not a bad idea. We've already got the range necessary with the ERPPCs. Let's drop that off and make it more of an all-rounder. Uh, so, yeah because these ERPPCs do have a minimum range. No, no minimum range. Okay, well, never mind. I was thinking that they did. But either way, still, more weapons is more good, I would assume. So let's throw on... Uh, let's see. Let's just go with some basic medium pulses. Sure. Might get toasty, but uh, if we get more firepower, all the better. So let's go ahead and do just that. Yeah. Lots of pulses, a tag for good measure, and then uh, ERPPCs. I think we can handle that. Either that or uh, maybe we drop the tag and we improve the exchanger. You know what? I think that sounds like a better idea. Yeah, let's drop you off there. Let's chuck you on in. There we go. Roughly the same amount of heat efficiency. That is a total of ooh, 54 if we fire everything. Mind you, all of these pulse blazes are not going to really be fired off. Alright, you know what? That'll do. Let's just run with this for now. That seems like a little bit of uh, fun. We'll try that out. And then, uh, well, well, I guess we may as well throw on some arm uh, mods if we're going to be 
getting within melee range. So let's just go ahead with uh, melee damage. Sure. We'll go with melee damage and then... Let's see. 15, that weighs a ton. Okay, so these top three are the weightless ones. We will uh, end them until we have no more. All right, well, that will do. And then we should probably chuck a gyro on there. Let's go with a... Oh, we should also probably go with another uh, cockpit model. Let's go with more resolve, because why not? And then let's run with uh, stability damage taken. Let's go with um, melee to hit. Or maybe just hit defense. Let's just go with hit defense. That'll be fine. All right. Make sure that we're uh, nice and uh, strong. All right. So that'll do. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab that. Right. Get that underway. Get it in the schedule. And then I think from there, that should be about everything. There is... Oh, no. We had a uh, pulse laser, a medium pulse laser. So let's go ahead and uh, throw that on there as well. Uh, we're trying to get that Black Knight to become the uh, disco machine that we know it can be. So uh, let's see if we can uh, fire that up. Let's go. Yeah, there we are. Medium pulse, less heat, more accuracy. Let's drop off the... Uh, not the large pulse. There we are. Medium pulse with no benefits. Let's crack on the good one there. That will do very nicely. And let's go ahead and confirm that. Yeah, we'll keep that thing incredibly cool. In fact, you know what? We could even probably just drop a heat sink just because we can. Uh, yeah, it will drop us by six. Maybe it will. Actually, no, never mind. It'll be fine. We're going to stick with what we've got. Um, we'll prob I'll probably on. finagle around with uh, you know when that's its uh, exact loadout to see if we can save some weight later on elsewhere. And then I think that's pretty good. So... Let's uh, see. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into the uh, contract and uh, see what we can... F oh, wait a second. We're in the middle of space. My bad. I completely forgot what we're doing. Don't mind me. We've only been doing this thing for one year. Yes, that is right. It is the uh, one year anniversary of the channel, which is uh, rather cool. So uh, thank you for all of you who are here. And uh, hopefully we will enjoy the next year to come and uh, continue to grow and have a lot of fun along the way. But in the meantime, let's uh, let's just get to our location, get those mechs finished, and uh, enjoy some contracts. All right, so off we go. Also, too, if you would like to join the Leviathan's Marauders, uh, all that you need is a first and a last name as well as a call sign. That's all that you need to get started. Just leave that in the comment section below or over in the community post tab. Uh, we are very, very happy to uh, welcome more submissions. If uh, you're seeing this and you're not Got sure, there will be you, an update in the uh, community post for when we are ceasing any more of the uh, applications. But uh, we would love to have you here. And also too, if you'd like to tell us more about your mech warrior, where they're from and what they enjoy, We'd always be uh, keen to hear more about them too. And uh, yeah, I think that would be very nice. All right, but either way, let's uh, keep on our travels and see what we can find. All right, so uh, that is Job the end of done, work. Commander. That is nice. Only 12 more days of travel. Uh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like uh, we may not have uh, too much on offer at the moment. Uh, going through that Capellan space, no chances for getting to a store. Uh, as they, uh, I don't think Despise is quite uh, visceral enough for their feelings towards us. We are on incredibly negative terms. Although, every now and again, they do seem to pay us. So, hey, look, no point in uh, saying no. At the end of the day, all of them, all money spends the same. So, uh, as long as it's not a uh, morally questionable and style what we believe i think we will accept it nonetheless all right so here we are finally making our way back out actually i don't think we've seen that up uh, planet side entry uh before that's rather nice 
All right, so what have we got? We have a mission here from the Federated Suns. Before we do, let's just quickly check the store. Yeah, we are in Federated Space, uh, which is good. Uh, any good weapons? Not particularly. That's all we've got. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what I do want to do? We do want to sell off some of our weapons. I saw when I was uh, fixing up that rotor, we have a silly amount of a few things. Uh, so first of all, let's quickly sell off these flamers and then 60 regular machine guns. We definitely don't need that many. And we also don't need all of those small lasers either. We have many much better ones than that. And apparently I was uh, reading online that the game can suffer some stuttering and things if you have too many objects in your, uh, what do we call it? Uh, in your inventory or too many saves basically it's a data issue that they have uh, they never sorted out which is unfortunate but I think uh, given that it's probably worth selling off some of these things just to make our life a little bit better hopefully it makes performance run just that bit better too all right let's uh, sell off all of those and I think that will do for now let's go ahead and dive on into our splash point so let's actually hang on. is there a black market no no there wasn't okay then uh let's go ahead and dive on into the flash point this is against the pirates and it expires in one day so before we make any mistakes let's dive on in all right so medium engagement consecutive deployments getting rare items seems pretty good to me now stavian requests your assistance in the transportation and custodial exchange of a high profile prisoner Payment will be remitted when the asset is in our hand. All right then, let us go. The opportunist in high orbit of non. It. Uh, hey, Commander, I'm pleased you've finally made it. I have a job for you. What can we do for you, Lady Cunningham? The local constabulary of this charming little world is holding a woman named Aisha. A Ayasha. Haderly. Uh, I want you to bring Miss Haderly, uh, alias Ap Atepa Weenie, alias the Fox of New Avalon, into my custody. Okay, uh, let's see. That's a... Alright. The uh, capital of uh, David. Interesting. Um, Miss Haderly stands accused of a number of high-profile robberies, including the brazen theft of the royal family's pleasure yacht. It's it is absolutely vital that she be returned to New Avalon for interrogation. Okay. The Fox of New Avalon, huh? That's funny. I thought the Fox was Hansi Davian's nickname. Okay, uh, let's see. He was uh, the first Prince of Davian, it seems. Okay. Interesting. Alright then. Uh, it is his nickname. Adelie stole it from him just like she stole the yacht. Yeah, wow. Well, bet the first prince is righteously pissed. Yes. Uh, you have no idea. The non dits uh, constabulary has already bundled Miss Hadley onto a prison transport. I need you to get that transport to a waiting dropship for extra condition. Alright, well that sounds simple enough. Is there anything else we need to know? Expect a long and hazardous road ahead of you. The non dits bad... Badlands are rife with banditry, and a transport, not even a prison transport, would make for an enticing target. Okay, you'll find an armored armored repair bay at the midpoint of your journey. I recommend that you make use of it. Okay, uh, we can do that, Lady Cunningham. Good. Oh, Commander, a word of advice. If Miss Haley attempts to speak to you, don't listen to her. She's a manipulative and dangerous woman, and she'll trick you into dooming yourself if you let her. Understood, Lady Cunningham. Don't worry, we'll get you your captive in one piece. Alright, well, that seems, uh... That seems interesting. So, we're going to try and transport a prisoner. We've done this before. But, uh, to be very, uh, upfront about not listening to her. Either she is the manipulator she says she is. Or we're being manipulated ourselves. Alright, so it's an escort mission in the desert. That seems pretty fun. Three and a half skulls. I think that seems 
easy enough. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves full salvage. This will max out our relations with the Federated Sons and only slightly impact our reputation with the pirates. So, given that we have this, let's go ahead and see what we can bring. In fact, uh, hmm. Do we use this as an opportunity to test out that new mortar? That does sound interesting. Um, hmm. Honestly, I'm curious, and my curiosity has been piqued. In fact, uh, I shall make sure that it is used. I will go ahead and uh, take that myself. Ooh, I wonder if that mortar will work with breaching shot too. That could be rather an interesting duo. And then finally, let's bring. Uh, who do we want to bring? I think we'll bring Headhunter. He had been in the mech bay. Uh, sorry, in the med bay for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and give him. A... You know what? Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and give him his standard one. Uh, again, just given that. Uh, well, our sort of rule of thumb is if we have a brand new mech, I'm always the first one to pilot it just to make sure that it is safe before I deploy the rest of my crew in there. I uh, will run with that for now. Uh, no need to switch things around. Oh, and we're bringing the crab and okay, well, you know what? That was an oversight. I was uh, just getting ready. Okay, well then, I guess maybe this uh, I guess maybe this one might be a little bit more fun than I was expecting. Alright, well, the good news is we're going to have some speed on our side, so that is ideal. We have the crab, which is fairly heat efficient. We found it worked well in the lunar biome. So, good precision strikes there, all those pulse phases, and then... I don't even know what our final mech is. Alright then, well, we'll find out soon. Alright, so, we must escort the prison transport to the repair bay. Miss Haley's prison transport is waiting for you on the planet's surface, Commander. You will meet it with a, oh, you will meet with it at a designated rendezvous point, then escorted to a distant repair bay. The personnel there stand ready to hold Miss Haley and patch up the prison a transport APCs. When they're finished, you'll be free to press on to the extraction point. Okay then. Well, this shouldn't be anything out of the ordinary, Commander. Let's get it done. Alright, well, hopefully we can uh, withstand this. I think this is probably the uh, heaviest mission for the lightest amount of tonnage. So, uh, let's do it. go ahead and see. Alright, good to see you, Commander. We're ready to get moving as soon as you reach the rendezvous point. These fields are absolutely lousy with bandits and highwaymen, and they're desperate enough to take a shot at anyone passing through their territory. That may even include battle mechs, so get ready for incoming fire. The sooner you get us to the repair bay, the sooner we can transfer Hadley to your custody. And that can't happen soon enough for my taste, so let's get this show on the road. Alright, keep your eyes open and watch your sensors. Ah, right, so we have our griffin. Right, okay, well, our griffin is pretty solid. Commander. Our crab is also quite decent. Our Atlas 2 has uh, <laughs> a lot of firepower. And... Orders. Then we have some good sniping. So, yes, Commander. Actually, hang on a second. Where is our? Oh, the mortar. There we are. We have an option. Okay. Well, either way, let's go ahead and get ourselves to the uh, point ASAP. Let's go. Let's go dive on in. Uh, we'll bring everybody else up. As you wish. Uh, we should probably be a little bit Confirm. careful as to uh, maintaining our stealth. On the move. But I guess it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go sprint up here. That should be fine. We'll bring everybody else forwards. Uh, that should still be within the bubble. Acknowledged. And uh, that will do. Copy that. Okay. Well, you know what? It's probably not a bad lance, really, if you think about it. We have ourselves a nice heavy assault. We have a... Uh, a heavy mech for sniping and then we also have a couple of mediums for a good amount of scouting and uh taking up that cavalry position so i think we should be fairly fine uh let's bring oh let's use that road 
consider it done. And then I think we'll go ahead and do the same thing there with the grab. And then the atlas. On my way. Okay, so so far so good. No one has shown up. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be extracting over there. That does make the most amount of sense. But I think. Uh, we're going to go ahead and with myself, we're going to go as far forwards as possible. In fact, we'll work our way around. But I think what we'll do here is with our Griffin, we're going to go for a full sprint down this way. Certainly. Out of stealth and there is no sign of contact. Okay, well then, uh, let's get ready to get ready to see who is around. Uh, we're probably going to go again. Uh, let's see. Let's move. Yeah, we don't want to take the objective just yet, but we do want to position everybody in a good spot for when that is taken. Uh, we'll take some cover, some stealth. Moving out. Yeah, we're just making sure that we are in a tactical confirmed. position here. No need for any uh, excess issues. Alright then, well I guess this is what it will be. Let's move... Uh, let's see, let's go... Yeah, we'll... I think that's the capture zone. So we'll go ahead and move there. And then everybody else can uh, adjust yes, to... Adjust to the position. So let's go... Let's move this far heading out and uh the griffin can go up to there and then our crab can just sort of i don't know pick up Position the cover confirmed. all right and apparently that was not the objective okay fine let's uh we'll take a step back and let's just let's just wait all right sensors detect a new adversary enemy contact is here all right Glad you could finally make it. Now let's get moving. The faster we can offload Miss Hadley on your employer, the happier I'll be. All right then. Fair enough. I uh, don't hold that against them. All right. So let's see. We have these uh, APCs, two machine guns, medium laser, and a tag. Some with two lasers. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Hopefully the uh, tag will go first. Now, but let's go ahead and see what we're dealing with. We have a 70 ton mech, an 80 ton vehicle, and then another 80 and 60 ton vehicle. All right. Got something you want done? Uh, let's go. Ooh. I think we just hold up for a second. We'll see if they can move closer. All right. So they are stealthed, which is useful. Keeps them fairly safe. Waiting for orders. Rannick can not get eyes on target. Oh wait, yes, can he can. Fantastic. All right, well then, uh, let's move up there. Heading out. We don't need that stealth anyway because we will be. Uh, well, we're not going to be stealthy once we shoot. Let's start with a precision strike on that grasshopper there. See if we can get rid of him. Some very nice damage there. A uh, McWarrior injury as well. And then... Hmm. APC carrier. Not taking shots. That's a... Uh, that's a manoeuvre for sure. Receiving you. Alright, let's bring the... Crab... Uh, do we bring the crab up? We could. And you know what? I th think we will... How might I help? Uh, either that or the Griffin. You know what? We'll go. Standing by. Yeah, we'll move the crab all this way. Coordinates received. And uh, yeah, we'll focus on that PPC carrier. This should be enough. Firing. Yep, all of them on one point. There we go. Vehicle down. Very nicely done. And now let's see what else. Uh, final turn. Do we move Awaiting the Griffin? Last way. I think we. I think we hold out. I just want to go ahead and uh, see what this mortar does. Alright, so, first of all... Yeah, let's bring... Actually, where... 
Oh, hang on a second. Uh, if we were to go here, click on the mortar. Oh. Oh, we have limited range, it seems. Okay. Uh, not as much range as I was expecting, given it is a mortar. But at the same time, too, I'm kind of uh, intrigued. Let's go ahead and move. Uh, how far forwards can we move? You have orders? Now, it might be better off just to move something else. Uh, and I really want to have a shot with this thing. Uh, let's go. We're going to move all the way up. We're going to see what we can do. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can handle everything else. And you know what? We'll provide cloaking to our APC friends. Mortal wise, we are slightly out of range. We could target the grasshopper, but I think we're going to see if we can get two vehicles. Yeah, we'll see if we can get two vehicles. So we'll just go ahead and should have sprinted. All right, let's just brace. Oh uh, well, so much for having a fun time. All right, more vehicles are moving together. Reporting. Uh, let's go, Griffin. Let's bring you all the way to the top. We can focus on... Ooh, that demolisher. That'll be a pain. Yeah, I think we just take out the demolisher. Alright, off we go. Alright, vehicle down. That'll give us enough Reporting. to resolve One for a couple vehicle. of uh, precision shots at next round. Oh, well. Alright. Well, it's our turn again. Let's bring... Receiving you. Good to go. Let's bring the... Good to go. Yeah, let's bring Rannick forward in the Gunslinger. Let's uh, go for the Precision Strike. We may as well. Uh, we will be a little bit toasty, so we'll drop off a weapon, but that's not much. Alright, lethal damage. Mech warriors, show them what you got. And now, what do we do? I think... What's the plan? Uh, do we just finish him off? Alright, fine. It is what it is. We'll go ahead and Be destroy him. Uh, oh, the Inferno Carrier. Man, that guy could have been quite the problem if he ever got any shots off. I understand. Alright, so we'll just leave that be for now. That's a kill. And then... What I think we'll do is, uh, hopefully they'll have reinforcements and then we'll get to test out our mortar. Alright, well, either way, good thing is, it's only a very short distance, so we don't have too much to worry about. Let's just bring you up over there. Yes, Commander. Bring you up over here. Go. Moving to position. Um, our Atlas, we will sprint as far as possible. And then Rannick can... There we go. Cover our rear. There we go. Alright, then. So, now all that we need is our buddies to make it to the objective. We should be fairly safe. Actually, uh... You know what? Maybe we bring the Atlas down here. Just in case they all spawn up there and start taking shots at us. Yeah, I wouldn't put that beyond them. Alright. We'll go ahead and make sure we do that. And, uh, yeah. Make sure that they're as close to that bubble as possible. The rest... We're just going to click done. Roger. Venting heat and stabilizing. All right. So, all right. New contacts. We're going to have company. See, that's You're what we're on about. Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. All right. So, an Orion, Grasshopper, and a Thunderbolt. Fair enough. Uh, I feel like, uh, yeah, if we had that Atlas moving a little bit quicker, we could have probably tagged all three out once and uh, made sure that nobody is uh, targeted in our little convoy. But, oh well. Yes, Commander. All right, let's go ahead and bring... Uh, let's bring our gunslinger up. Yep, we're going to focus on that Orion. We may as well go for the precision strike here. Go for the headshot. Copy that. Oops. We were a weapon down, but apparently we did not need it. One more for the kill, boy. All right, well, that's good. Uh, we'll take that. Let's also go ahead and bring... 
Ooh, we could bring the crab in point blank. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Uh, sure. Let's fire a full salvo. On my way. Uh, let's go precision strike on you. Go headshots. Roger that. And still kicking. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We might actually be able to get ourselves. How might I help? Might be able to get ourselves a fun mortar time. All right, let's go and tag the grasshopper just to make sure that they're focused on us and not the APCs. All right, well, solid damage there. Allies are moving into the uh, exfiltration site. Yeah, Griffin can take a full salvo there. Nothing really too concerning. And then, here we go. Oh, we're going to get close enough, aren't we? Oh, hip hip huzzah. All right, let's move all the way. And now let's see what this mortar can do. Yeah, we can target both of them. Fantastic. All right. Well then, let's go ahead and just uh, drop it on them and see what that does. All right then. Uh, action. Artillery fire for 10 to 50 damage per location on units within the blast radius ah okay so 10 to 50 is a fair bit of a damage swing that's uh per location that's pretty powerful for uh just cooking through some uh armor right there yeah all right well you know what well let's give it a try what does it look like engaging target uh... Cool. Alright, well, uh, I'm not sure it's necessarily worth the uh, seven tons of a single use. But, that being said though, I could see circumstances where something like that could be useful. Alright, so all you are the swelling on down. Alright. Well, they got out of there. All perfectly fine. Also, too, I think the... Uh, game did stutter a little bit less when we fired those weapons so for this mission so i do wonder whether uh deleting some of those uh, old saves in this uh campaign file and selling off that stuff has standing by has uh provided us with what we were after all right well uh let's go ahead and uh we might as well move on up i copy what do we got eyes on we have all right well that thunderbolt has been stripped of a lot of armor yeah, that's not uh, too bad. Oh wow, it also softens up the uh, back of those mechs too. Oh wow, that could be quite powerful. Yeah, you could take out probably uh, multiple light mechs if you so desired. And then Thunderbolt. And the Grasshopper. Yeah, they're looking all fairly uh, a bit dinged up. Alright then, well, let's go for the Thunderbolt. We'll go Precision Strike. Uh, make sure that we get the uh, kill all weapons this time. Oh, ammo explosions will take out a pilot. That's a kill. That's uh, pretty good. All right, and then uh, let's use orders. Uh, you know what? Reporting. Uh, let's use the Griffin. We're just going to go ahead and take shots here. Uh, we should be. Fine. I'm just looking to do a precision strike. I just want to go ahead and use that uh, ultra auto cannon again. Firing. Oop. All right. Well, we're certainly taking them down. Scored a critical hit. Yeah. We're going to reserve with everybody. Then we're going to play with the uh, Atlas. It's been a while since we fired off a UAC 20. So let's see what kind of damage we can do. Oh. All right, small amount of damage, completely inconsequential. And now, off oh, your for a second, then I thought we weren't going to get the angle. That would have deeply saddened me. All right, let's go ahead and precision strike. Let's go for that grasshopper and uh, <laughs> send a full salvo of goodbye. Well. And destroyed. Enemy yep. Destroyed. That'll do it. 
All right then, all targets eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you are at right now. Thanks for the assist, Commander. We're in the repair bay, safe and sound. And we're going to have to keep you that way. Don't get too comfortable down there, Commander. We've got two unidentified dropships on an approach trajectory. They'll be touching down within the next few minutes. All right, get ready, everybody. We're about to have another fight on our hands. Mission successful. All right then. But well, that's not bad. And uh, all things considered, I think that was a fairly uh, decent lance that we took out. Something a little bit different, but uh, we're certainly uh, doing okay. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, yeah, everybody got a kill. That's always fun to share the love around. Let's go grab the... Uh, we don't need any of those weapons. Let's go with the Orion. Or one of those is worth it. And then what else did we get? Two parts of a grasshopper. That's not too bad. Alright then. Let's go ahead and continue. And uh, missions being what they are for flashpoints, I do wonder what is to come next. Often we find uh, there's always some kind of complication at some point or another. The uh, question is, do we turn our backs on our employers? Do we get a new kind of uh, modifier to how we need to complete our mission? Who really knows? But either way, I'm still keen to see. So, let's uh, see that what the follow-up brings. I'll oh, chuck you back in storage. Don't need you. Oh, and we're right back in it again. All right, so I think uh, the defend base mission. Hmm. I feel like we probably should have some LRMs on our side. But for now, I think I think let's uh, stick with the thematic of consecutive deployment. They are only going to be minutes away, and I think swapping out mechs would take just a little bit longer so I'm kind of tempted to stick with what we've got or maybe we'll just swap out one yeah let's go ahead and uh that crab is pretty good but I think the black knight could be better yeah let's grab a uh... or actually maybe you know what we could do we could maybe uh swap out you know what? I really want to try that mortar again you know what we're going to swap out our crab, and we're going to throw on in the Black Knight. That thing is pretty speedy. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to go with a medium, two heavies, and an assault. I think that seems reasonable. And then we'll keep the... we keep the cooling here, or do we go for the extra initiative? I think we're going to go for the initiative. Yeah, we still have the multi-target, uh, but going a little bit quicker is probably not a bad thing. In fact, uh, we might see if we can get that. Yeah, we'll switch. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, we'll do. We'll just do a quick uh, personnel uh, handoff. That'll be fun. Yeah, Ranger can stay in the Black Knight. We'll keep the Atlas and the. Uh, Marauder that way. That way we're not moving at number one. We should have a little bit of extra bonuses on our side. And our, uh, yeah, we can see how we go. Yeah. All right, then. So uh, just a quick change. We'll assume that Sumar was already in the area and we have an extra pilot around. Just in case uh, one of us gets injured, we can do a quick handoff. So uh, now that I've tested the Atlas and have seen that it is safe, We'll uh, hand that on to one of our mech warriors and uh, let everyone get some participation in. All right, so we must defend the fortified repair bay. Our sensors indicate several large groups of incoming vehicles and battle mech commander. Whoever they are, I need you to hold them off and drive them away. Above all, they cannot be allowed to free Miss Hadley from confinement. She belongs to us. All right then, well. This just got interesting. Battle up, Edmund. We've got a prison to defend. Alright then. Oh, wait for a second then. I thought it already said ready, but it turns out it's just preparing for combat. Oh, yeah, preparing for combat. Command interface initiated. Alright, well, here we are. Both groups of unidentified hostiles are moving into comms range now, Commander. 
Hopefully they're in a talking mood because I want to know where up against. Oh, and speak of the devil, incoming transmission. Your attention please. This is Commander Mitchell Pearl of the Droppen White Cavalry. You have custody of a woman who is wanted on my world for multiple charges of larceny, burglary, and grand theft. You will surrender her to me immediately or my people will take her from you. But that won't be possible, Commander Pearl. We're holding Miss Hadley at the personal request of, of First Prince Hans Hedavian. Oh, another transmission. I, the Duchess of Corina Al Aliberti, demand that you surrender your captive to my soldiers. She will face the justice of the Herodotan Royal Court, and she will confess to the theft of our world's most precious heirloom. Oh, wow. You're late to the party, lady. May as well get in line. Oh, this is gonna end in gunfire, Edmund. Hold the repair bay. How Stavian wants Hadley, so we can't let anyone else take her. All right, then. I guess we're uh, defending from multiple people trying to get their hands on her. All right, so we must hold out for 10 rounds. Uh, yeah, got to make sure that we keep things alive. Destroy incoming hostiles. All right, so you know what? Incoming hostiles seem to be coming from there. I don't see any reinforcements, so let's just get ready for a brawl. We're going to meet them in the field of battle. Let's sprint on As out there wish. and see what we can do. I got something. Oh, and we have eyes on a centurion. Okay, so we should be fairly uh, equipped to deal with that. Let's bring... Uh, yeah, let's bring ourselves forwards there. Aye, aye. We'll uh, give some stealth charges to everybody, and then we'll bring our gunslinger up as well. Position. Yeah, I think we're in a pretty good spot here to defend. We should be uh, quite capable. Alright, Shadow Hawk coming on in. What have they got? Uh, not much. Not much at all. Alright, well then, uh, let's go Ready with... To get it on. Rannick has... Ooh. Almost good enough shots on the Centurion. How might I help? We could. Uh, we can't quite get range on them. Um, yes, our Black Knight. Yeah, our large pulse could, but that's about it. I think what we do. Receiving you. Is we're gonna save Rannick for a second. We're gonna follow up on that Centurion. Yes, Commander. And we're going to start with an opening salvo. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to reserve. Silly me. I a almost forgot that we lost. are in stealth. All right. I've been sensor locked. Well, you know what? Now that stealth is down, let's go ahead and use Good to go. what we have available. Let's move on up. Full salvo there against that centurion. Or. Got a hook. We're going to go with the. We're going to go with the Centurion. Locking in coordinates. A quick and easy kill is always ideal. And uh, then we can send out indiscriminate fire against the other. Oh, and we took out a leg. We did get a pilot injury and a second one for it falling over. All right, well, I guess that's effective. Let's get ready for orders. Uh, let's see. Spy Masters in the Atlas. We have pretty good shots here. I don't see why we shouldn't take it. Uh. Hmm. What's the plan? Either that, or we could go ahead and uh, Griffin's got all right shot, and then Black Knight as well. All right. So you know what? Standing by. I think we'll move our Atlas forwards. We'll get everybody into a uh, into the bubble for next round. We're not going to send any shots here at the Shadow Hawk. We're just going to go ahead and uh, completely incapacitate the Centurion. You know what? There's a good chance we might hit this thing in the leg anyway. Let's go ahead and multi-target. Yeah, we'll send most against the Centurion, one against the uh shadow hawk we'll send off no we'll send off the eh that'll do let's just buy with that that'll be fine Split 
Changing target. All right, so Centurion is still kicking. And so is the Shadow Hawk. Huh. All right, well, I'm not really too concerned. We'll be fine. Looks like we have a new contact coming on in. A 65-ton mech. Commander. All right, then. Let's go and uh, finish some of these off. Let's go with the... I think if we go Black Knight first... You have orders? Yeah, the Griffin should be able to do some pretty good damage. So... Yes, Commander. Yeah, Black Knight, let's go up over there. Moving to position. Uh, we'll focus on what we can kill. Go for the headshot. Alright. Lethal damage. That's what we want. Mech destroyed. Uh, so that's some salvage for us. Let's bring Rabid. Yeah, the Griffin can... Uh, where can we get some good shot from? 45 and 30 percent you know what that's even better and potentially more damage all right then i guess we're gonna go as uh, close as we can i understand all right let's see what we can oh we also have a thunderbolt in the back okay well i guess it's not a bad thing that we uh split our fire let's go ahead and shoot actually you know what no we can't we can only see the thunderbolt all right i'm loading All right, arm destroyed. That Hell yeah. Not the uh, end of the world. I would have preferred a leg, but it is what it is. Whoa, point blank shooting. That's uh, that's a little rude. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to uh, fix your little red wagon. Let's go. Awaiting orders. We just follow on up with another shot. You could just, uh, we just go full beans. Honestly, I think that's, uh, okay, hang on a second. Let's go with the Ranger, maybe. Let's go. Well, yeah, let's back on up, get a full silver. Yeah, we can fire off all those machine guns. That's probably ideal. And we'll have more armor, so as we lose our stealth, uh, that griffin won't be targeted as, uh, yeah, as much. So let's go for the headshot here. Full weapons. Off you go. Oh. Alright, well, Disco... One last target. Uh, Disco mech is doing good. And, uh, let's follow it up Not with... Up. Let's see. We can probably get a decent salvo here from Moranek. Yeah, and in fact, that may be in our best interest, so we can focus on the other lands coming in from the other side. Yeah, let's go ahead and try that. Uh, we'll run... Let's see. Still in range. Alright. And then uh, we'll twist around so it is just within our forward firing arc. Let's go precision strike. I have to turn off one weapon, but that's a-okay. 35% chance for a headshot is decent. Firing. Alright, fantastic. One left target. So, lethal damage is what we needed. And now, Rabbit. Reporting. Uh, I think what we do here... Yeah, you'd be out of range. Let's go ahead and reserve you for a turn. And see... What these other fools are doing. Let's go ahead and reserve once more. Got it. I can't reserve forever. Oh, and they're going around. Okay. Well. What's the plan? Uh, let's go ahead and go to set a mortar upon them, but I'm not sure if that's really in our best interest. Orders. Let's go ahead and go for a sprint. We'll go. Yeah, we'll get our eyes on target if we go this way. So let's go. Yeah, we're just going to go full on in and scout. Certainly. We'll see if there's more to uh, deal with. Uh, so there's this guy here. He's in a Thunderbolt. And all these are our buildings that we're defending. Still no sign of more mechs. Actually, we should just double check because there could be more coming out this way. Alright, uh, ready for orders. Master, let's go. 
Maybe indirect fire would have been a good thing to have. Oh well. Uh... Let's move... You know what, we'll just uh, move our way across. Confirmed. Take a little bit of altitude, see what we can find. Oh, we should have sprinted, but oh well. Uh, we might as well go ahead and sensor lock then, since uh, that's what we have available. Sensors locked off. Will at least uh, decrease Heads their up, capacity to... Hostile contacts inbound. Yeah, decrease their ability to evade, and uh, their sensor locking should uh, also mitigate their targeting chances. You have orders? Uh, let's bring that griffin on in. I think we'll just try and get a quick kill here. Yeah, focus on that thunderbolt. We can shoot him in the back. Orders. Let's go, Black Knight. We're going to go ahead and sprint you down here. I feel like they could be coming from this direction, so we're going to quickly check that out. And then... Yes, Commander. Yeah, Rannick, you're not going to be able to get shots. You're going to have to uh, cool down. Let's go. Now, I think we'll just save you for a second. Let's just let's just move up here and uh, focus on the Thunderbolt. Have no doubt, it will be done. We have a pretty good amount of damage here, so let's go ahead and focus on him. We'll just bore him, get him over, and get him out of the way. Search. All right, well, uh, mission sneaky sneak completed. Well done. Uh, let's go. Yeah, no one's coming out this way, so let's go. I think what we'll do is we'll focus down at this side, just in case. You know what? We'll even grab the cover. Yep, we do have enemies. All right, then. This is where we're going to focus upon yet again. So let's bring our Atlas... Yeah, our Atlas can stay on the road there. That should be fine. Our Gunslinger is going to make pretty decent movement here. Let's go A on the road so we get bonus movement uh, okay, modifiers everybody. for the next turn. Hit him where it hurts. All right. Uh, all right. So yes, Commander. Rabbit can get eyes on things, but that's not going to help us too much. Uh, let's go. Yes, Commander. Uh, the Black Knight can probably get eyes on. You know what? I think we'll be out of range. Let's go ahead and reserve. Holding for the right opportunity. And then uh, let's see. Standing by. Firemaster in the Atlas. I do wonder whether we're going to be able to get a mortar round on a couple. So let's just quickly double check. Receiving what is you. the range here? Yeah, we're just outside of range, so... Mm. It's not bad, we're just outside of uh, our sensor range, is our uh, actual range. So if we were to move all the way forwards, we'd only be able to hit one. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, okay, so you know what, we're going to... Uh... I'm going to go ahead and reserve. I don't think they'll get eyes on any of those buildings, so we should be relatively safe. I've been sensor locked. All right, sensor locking our mechs. That is to be Standing expected. Uh, Rannick, I don't think he's going to get eyes on this time round. How might I help? Neither will the Griffin. So let's sprint with our Griffin. Let's go. Yeah, catch up. Yeah, we'll uh, use. We'll use our mechs that cannot fire as an initiative sink, especially while they're not currently able to uh, get shots off. Uh, then we'll follow up with uh, Rannick, pick up some cover. There we go, okay. And first shot, ooh. One of our structures has been eliminated. Well, that is... Uh, Probably my fault there. We could have saved that. Yeah, between those LRMs on that PPC, that's uh Yeah, full salvo. Alright then. Standing by. Uh let's go. Let's bring the Black Knight up and over here. We'll focus on that 80 ton mech. 
That should be fine. Affirmative. Uh, let's make sure that that thing is toast. Yeah, that demolisher with those two AC-20s. Say goodbye to you. And he's still kicking. Okay, then. And, alright. That guy's moved on in. So I think Ready Spymaster should. Yeah, that will be within our range. Let's use our Morpher. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, fire that off. There we go. Might be able to get a couple of good kills here. Fire down range. Or at the very least, uh, put some good damage on our targets. Alright. So, let's see. How does that work against one of these? Did a pretty good job at taking out some of the armor. Uh, well, uh, sorry about that. Uh, that was a bit of a jump. Uh, turns out my uh, computer had run out of storage where I was recording. And so we've... Kind of uh, missed out on one little round. All that we did was we ran our Black Knight up, we targeted two targets, and uh, we burnt them through nice and easily. And then Rennick took care of the Demolisher. Uh, I do apologize about that. I uh, should have noticed, but luckily only about 60 seconds went by, so glad I saw that alert. Alright, so uh, where were we? We were in the middle of trying to defend a base, so let's go ahead and quickly bring over... Now, Atlas, in fact, uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and reserve. We have a mech left. I've been sent to lock. Yep, there we go. And that should mean... Ready for orders. Uh, that we could... No? Have an LBX demolisher. All right, let's just go ahead and sprint forwards. On it. We'll deal with you next time. Uh, I'm not really too concerned. We've only got to hold out for three more rounds, and... Uh, uh, let's be honest, Awaiting it's not going to take us that much to go through. Let's go, and you know what, we're going to go ahead and click a reserve button. Waiting for the right move. We're going to go ahead and uh, get our auto cannon. Got it. To go uh, bippity boppity kaboom. That's right, we're going to fire that fantastic beast. And would you believe it, it was rather effective. Vehicle killed. Alright, sweet. Well, well done. We've managed to wipe out the Op 4. Can do an extraction right now. No need to get to our planned LZ. Well then, that looks like the last of them. I'm not seeing any more clips on my radar. Nothing left to do but to circle back to the repair bay and wait. Mission successful. Alright then. Well, that was, uh... That was not too bad, outside of my own technical, uh, blips. But, uh, at least we've got that sorted. And, uh, we're not... I'm not too concerned anymore. Uh, about that. Uh, let's go ahead and see. We got paid a good chunk of change. 830,000 sea bills is quite nice. So let's uh, go ahead and, uh, well, keep them for now. Uh, let's grab the bits of a thunderbolt. Uh, that should be fine. No particularly amazing weaponry that we're after. No. So let's just go ahead and confirm that. And uh, that should do well, of course. And uh, because it was a consecutive mission, we didn't get to negotiate the pay. Right, that's why we only got two salvage. I'm trying to think for a second how we got so little for uh, for such a difficult mission. And by such a difficult mission, I mean you know, given the uh, rating, we normally have more salvage, uh, more salvage opportunities than that. So either way, we'll uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Alright, so the real question is, how much are we going to have left, and uh, how happy people are? Alright, well, we're back in orbit. Now that we're safe and sound in the repair bay, things seem to have quieted down. I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like, to me, that we're in the clear. Well, you may be in the clear, but I haven't had a moment's peace since we got here. So, we need to talk. I'm all ears, what's the problem? It's the repair crew pit boss. The uh, fellow won't leave me alone. He sent over 25 messages to the Leopards since we arrived, and when I stopped responding, he showed up in person to hammer on the door. Ooh, okay, what does he want? The guy keeps saying that Hadley has a message for you that she needs to talk. I don't know if Hadley promised him money or flirted with him or what, but he won't take no for an answer, and I'm about five minutes away from beating the holy hell out of him. Okay, well, under ordinary circumstances, I'd tell you to be my guest. 
But we need his crew working at full capacity. They can't do that if their pit boss is laid out in the infirmary. Well, maybe we should just give the prisoner what she wants and put her up on the view screen. I mean, what could it hurt? She's locked in a cell and we're up here on the bridge. Oh. Um. Well, that is an interesting refuse to accept the call or we hear what she has to say that seems uh it seems like a very peculiar way of uh ordering this i would have thought it would have been a flashpoint decision whether we accept it or whether we don't um you know what information is uh information is uh probably key to victory in most things so you know what let's hear what she has to say yeah she's clearly wanted all right if you say so i'll put her up on the view screen so she can speak her piece he is hoping we don't wind up regretting this all right you listen you're actually talking to me thank god thank you commander i haven't had a conversation with anyone in authority since the constabulary abducted me the only person who will even talk to me is that guy from the repair crew and he isn't in any kind of position to help me. Alright, nobody said anything about helping you, Miss Hadley. And to be honest, you should probably give up on that right now. You aren't getting out of that cell. Now, if you wanted to talk, so talk. Commander Hobbs will decide if what you're saying has any value. In that case, let me lead with a question. Do you want to get rid? And that was, that was hypothetical. Don't answer you kill people for money, of course you want to get rich. And that's fortunate because I happen to know about a real easy score not 10 minutes from here. Amazing coincidence, right? Sometimes life is just funny that way. We're talking about a literal treasure trove of rare and valuable mech components, and that fetch an absolute mint on the black market. My hell, you could keep your share for yourself. I won't judge. Of course, if you want to know where the goods are buried, you're going to have to do something for me first. A little good pro quo, if you will. If you're going to ask us to spring you from your cell, you can forget about it. Your little stunt with Hans Davian's pleasure yacht made it basically impossible for us to help you directly. Oh, I know. I wasn't going to ask you to free me. I'm going to prison. I've already accepted that, but I've got people on the outside who'd be happy to hang onto my half of the loot while I'm a guest of House Davian. Still interested? Well, I suppose we are. Good. Here's how it's going to work. I stay here, safe and sound in my cell. You and your lance go to the coordinates that I specific that I specify and recover the loot. After you've got it, you come back here and leave half the loot with the repair crew plot. You take me to Lady Cunningham's drop ship, they cart me off to New Avalon, and you enjoy your half of the payday. Obviously, I'm trusting you to actually leave my half of the loot, but I figure that if a Cunningham is doing business with you, you're probably the trustworthy type. Are you? Tr you are trustworthy, aren't you? Of course. Why wouldn't we be? I feel like we're getting railroaded right now, but I will see. No reason, though, Commander. You've heard my pitch. Accept it, and you'll make yourself rich for a tiny amount of effort. Refuse, and you'll be leaving a vault full of rare mech components on the table. You'll know where they they were here, but you will never find them without my help. So I ask you, do we have a deal? Ooh. Well. Um. Sure, let's accept her offer. I am a uh, I am a fan of the looting. But uh, we are technically doing perfectly fine, as the contract said. She warned us not to listen to her, but she didn't tell us not to explicitly speak with her. That wasn't a demand of our contract. So, I figure let's see if we can make ourselves the best of both worlds. Alright then, you've got a deal. Give me the coordinates of that big heist of yours, and we'll follow through on our end. Although, uh... Ooh. Either that or we could refuse and say no way. Lady Cunningham warned us not to trust you, but I'll be sure to let her know what you're planning. 
Aha. Um, hmm. Question is, do we do we trust Hadley or not? You know what? I feel like we should probably let's go ahead and see what it is. My curiosity really needs to know, so we're gonna go ahead and follow through. All right, smart move, Commander. Very smart move. You get your lands ready, and I'll be talking you through this deployment over the cops. Uh, that's my job. Not today, it isn't. And try and relax a little. This is going to be fun. Ah. All right. Well, this is uh, going to be peculiar. But I, uh... Yeah, we'll see. What's this? This is a four... Oh, wow. A uh, four-scale mission. A target acquisition. What is it? We need to deploy a beacon and allow forces to make their move. They have advanced anti-air anti aircraft defenses as well as ground forces. This mission is time box, so bring fast mechs and move quickly. Well, uh, all right then. You know what? Sure. Uh, I reckon. Oh, this could either be over very very quickly, or it's going to turn into a slightly longer mission. And uh, honestly, I don't really know, but we're already at an hour and ten. Yeah, I think we're going to come back with the opportunist in the next one. And we will uh, we will see exactly whether she is trustworthy or not in the next one. So if you do want to see whether that is the case or not, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content. And I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.